What's up, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ram Talk. And without further ado, let's welcome our guest of the day. Let's welcome our guest, senior Jessica Page, a student athlete who has excelled on the soccer field. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> well, Jessica, let me start by asking you, what was your initial, initial reaction when you heard that there would be a modified soccer season this spring? Um, at first, I was really disappointed about it, to be honest. Um, I just really, like, we were really pushing for a regular season. But the more I, like, thought about it and, like, looked at the positive side of it, I was just grateful that we got, like, any kind of season at all for my senior year. So I was grateful in the end. <laughs> right. I, I imagine the excitement as well, because, you know, you were expecting not to play at all. And then, you know, you heard the news that, you know, at least you could play somehow. Um, yeah. this year. So I am aware that you are the captain of your team, which is amazing. Um, how does it feel being captain? It feels good. I mean, I've worked hard for it. And so have the other captains for the past three years, four years. So it's just really good. Like I love leading the girls and I love being like a role model for them. It's just real. And it's fun too. I love it. <laughs> Well, that's great. Um, I noticed that everyone on the soccer field wore masks as they played. Do you think wearing a mask um, may affect the way athletes perform on the field? Honestly, at first, I like I was really concerned about it. I was like, how am I going to be able to breathe? Like, I'm going to be sweating. It's, but honestly, it's really not. It doesn't affect me at all anymore. Like, yeah, sometimes when I'm like heavy breathing, like it will get in the way. But I don't I really think that everyone's just so used to it now that it doesn't affect your play as much. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Um, you know, it makes sense that at first, you know, it was a bit difficult having a mask on. Um, but, you know, people kind of got used to it and, um, you know, it, be, it became like it, there was nothing there. So, yeah, that's great. Um, in the middle of this pandemic, in what ways did you stay prepared for the season? Um, in the middle, we. We really mostly did um, Zoom videos because it was like when things were bad. So we did Zoom workouts and stuff like that. But then when things started to get better, we started all going to the fields and actually getting to play again. And ever since we found out there was a modified season, we've been like renting fields like Danvers Indoor. We rented that field just to get in practice so we could be as good as we would be if we were in a regular season. So, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it's really important um, that you you guys at least, you know, found a way to stay prepared, um, especially during this pandemic um, and especially during such challenging times for everyone. Um, so as you approach the end of the season, so actually you already approached the end of your season. <laughs> what were your biggest takeaways? we improved a lot like as a team last year I don't know if you know but we had a tough season we only won two games so it was really tough especially because we moved up a division but it was just tough like we needed to improve as a team and we definitely did like our like passing communication has gotten so much better and it brought us to playoff so it's really exciting to see the two the team improve well a special congratulations for that because Going to the playoffs is a major accomplishment. Um, and, you know, it's great that you guys were able to improve, you know, even during these challenging times, as I mentioned. Um, so that's incredible. Um, as a senior, what have been your most memorable moments throughout your high school career? Mm, now, I would say my most memorable moment is my senior night. I used to think that it was last year's senior night, which it still kind of is because I love those seniors, but now I think my senior night has topped it just because like after such a like a like a hard year, especially being a senior, the girls like went all out like decorations like and it was just such a fun night like even the moms were helping and they really surprised us with like presents and stuff and it was just awesome and then we ended up winning. So it was just a really fun night. Wow, I, I imagine um, like how fun it was. Um, so that's that's um, incredible. So um, after reading the daily item, I also noticed that you were interested in attending Western New England University to study um, pharmacy and also continue your soccer career. 
Um, can you tell me a little bit more about why you chose this university? Well, at first I knew, I, I've always known that I've wanted to play soccer in college, but I really wanted to pick my college based off of my major and based off of like, if I really love the campus and the school, because who knows, like in a couple of years, I might not want to play soccer or whatever. So I really wanted to love the school before I chose to like connect with the coach and stuff. So I, when I knew I wanted to do pharmacy, it really shrunk down the amount of schools because I wanted to stay close to home and pharmacy like isn't a major out of a lot of schools. So that really cut it down. And then once I looked at the campuses, I loved Western New England. So then when I reached out to the coach and she got back to me and like we just started talking, I knew I wanted to go there. So yeah, that, that's incredible. And um, you also mentioned that it was kind of difficult for you because you had to attend like a bunch of virtual tours. And you also mentioned that you have like two other brothers that, you know, they had a different experience because they were actually able to look at the campus in person, yeah. if I'm correct. So yeah. how was it like just, you know, looking, having a virtual tour and not really being able to be there in person? Well, it was definitely different. I mean, like you said, like my brothers told me like, how much different it was so I like really knew um they weren't terrible obviously they're not going to be the same as being in person but like colleges did their best and like along with the virtual tours to like make sure I liked it I would look up their campus like look up stuff on the college look at their website like just did as much as I could to make it as close as if if it were like regular well uh, th that's pretty incredible um that you were able to do that um, yeah. even online. So that's, that's great. Um, so once you go off to college, what is something you'll miss the most about high school? Sports, definitely. I'll miss my high school sports and also friends because I'll probably stay connected with some friends, but you, it's hard when you go to college, yeah. obviously to stay connected with everyone. So I'll definitely miss everyone and seeing everyone in school and everyone being so close. I'll definitely miss that. Exactly. And also, would you say that you're kind of going to miss the pep rallies? Yes, I definitely would miss the pep rallies, especially because we didn't get one this year. Right. I, yeah. I definitely I felt bad that, you know, we weren't really able to have a pep rally, especially mm -hmm. as a senior. You know, you weren't really able to have your final pep rally. So, yeah. Um, so hopefully, yeah. you know, we'll kind of have that in the future um, and you'll be able to see it um, yeah. from college. <laughs> yeah. So do you do you feel ready for college? Yeah, I do. I do. I feel pretty confident going into college and especially Western New England, like knowing people from the soccer team helps a lot. So yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs> That's awesome. And lastly, this is actually a question that I've been asking seniors um, throughout Ram Talk, um, because I'm curious as to what they will answer. Can you describe your senior year in just three words? I would say my senior year is very different. Um, it's a little depressing if you think about it. And also it's like, it's been like a hopeful year, like as much as it was sad, it's been very hopeful and everyone's been like as positive as they could be about things that we could do versus things that we couldn't. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And honestly, for everyone watching right now, um, it's just incredible that, you know, we've all been, we've all been going through this together and, you know, we were all able to get through it. You know, we're at the end of the year already. And, and, you know, it's just honestly for all of us, it's a major accomplishment that we got this far. Um, and we were able to manage it for something that, you know, was, has never happened to anybody before. So, um, you know, it's, it's amazing um, what everyone is doing. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's definitely been a tough year, but I think everyone's pushed through it the best they could. Yeah, exactly. And everyone honestly deserves a pat on the back because this was a tough year. And yeah, um, I agree for teachers and also students. So, mm -hmm. yeah, well, we've reached the end of the interview. Um, honestly, I wish you the best as you finish off your senior year, both on and also off the fields. And honestly, I see nothing but success in your future. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Well, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in next week's episode of Ram Talk.